In this session, we're going to take a look at managing products within EDD. Normally, I would start with Add New and go through the process of adding a new one. But I've already added one, and Edit is pretty much identical, so we're going to go through that. We're looking at the Admin Archive here, and you can see there's the title, a category, which I created, a tag, which I created. There's the price, number of sales, amount of earnings, and then there's a short code here that you could use in a post if you wanted to make a buy button for this product. Let's click edit and see what's involved here. Title and content are pretty much exactly the same as every other content type. You can see we have a slug here, slash downloads, slash Big Buck Bunny. Big Buck Bunny is a video that was released into the Creative Commons. It's a pretty funny cartoon. But because it's under Creative Commons, it's very often used in examples of downloads and things like that. In the top right here, we have Download Stats, Sales and Earnings. You can view a Downloads Log, which is empty because no one's downloaded it yet. You can view a File Download Log as well as a Detailed Earnings Report. The Publish box is exactly the same as every other content type as well as categories and tags. Let's skip over here to the left and look at prices. I've put in a price of $10, but we have an option here for variable pricing. This allows you to have variables in your product. If you were talking about a t-shirt, for example, you could have small, medium, and large with different prices for each. So in the case of video, you could have varying bit rates, so you'd end up with different qualities. You also have the option to allow people to buy more than one variation. But we're going to turn those off because we have just the one video. Back to the right, we have Download Settings. You can limit file downloads so that the file may be only downloaded a certain number of times. Button Options is a little bit confusing. Once we take a look at this product, there's a button on it to buy. This checkbox will disable that button, and you don't have the Buy button anymore. I can think of a few reasons why you might want to do this, but not too many, so I suggest you leave it off. Featured image is just like every other featured image. And on the left here we have the files that are to be downloaded when purchased. You can select a type, so you can have a single file or a bundle of files. You can provide a file name, and then here's a place to upload your file. It also uses the normal media library. So that should work exactly as you expect. There's still an add new file because you can add several if you're having a bundle. Download notes are special notes that get added to the purchase receipt. So this is simply information for the purchaser. And then there's an excerpt, which is exactly like the excerpt in every other content type. It could get used on an archive page or anywhere else you'd like to print it. So let's save this. And then we'll view. My featured image looks kind of terrible because of this theme. If we were using another theme, it would show that image in a different way. But here we have the title and the content and a button. Here's my product and my cart. Here's where I can enter my personal information. I'm currently in test mode, which we'll go over in another series, so I'm going to put in a fake number. and some fake billing information. And now I've made my purchase. Right here is a link to the file to download. If you look in the bottom of the video here, you can see that the URL is quite long and complicated, which prevents someone from simply finding this video on the internet. And if I click, I can download. There's also a link to it in the email receipt, which I will receive. 
That's about it for creating products. It's relatively simple, and EDD takes the headache out of keeping files protected against random downloaders.